I'm James Erickson. I'm the Director of Facilities and Game Operations here at the University of Arkansas Little Rock. This, this kind of tugging of college athletics was, you know, got to me and, um, you know, I decided that this is what I wanted to do. This is where I wanted to be. And there was an opportunity here at the University of Arkansas Little Rock and the Department of Facilities and, and um, Game Operations. Here I am. My name is Precious Birdsong. I am the Assistant Director of Facilities and Game Operations and I am from Chattanooga, Tennessee. The planning process, so the way it started was obviously listening to a lot of the different guidelines that were already set out there, uh, mainly by the university, by the state of Arkansas, by you know the city of Little Rock. So it was really kind of looking at those uh, different items that they had put out there and how is it that we incorporate that into the Jack Stevens Center? How is it that we incorporate that into Coleman? Uh, the Coleman complex, you know, so really was taking a look at that, but then also doing a lot of collaboration, um, a lot of kind of reaching out to, you know, colleagues around the country because this was something that affected everybody. We, our department began like making phone calls to other people within, you know, like other colleagues and counterparts and whatnot to just gather things that they had been planning for their uh, respective institutions and departments and uh, I mean it's a very unique situation that we have been dealing with for these last few months and so to be honest there's no secret um, we all we all got to make it out of here one way or another you know and so it's just figuring out what works best for our department and the things that we're doing here to move this department forward. So prior to game day um, what we're doing really during the week is a lot of sanitizing. Um, after practices, we're sanitizing the, the different courts, whether it's the main court, whether it's Fisher Court, the chairs, um, locker rooms, different areas where people are kind of active and what have you for those practices. So a fan would experience um, from the time that they walk out of their car to the end of the, end of the event to when they get back in their car. Um, they'll walk up to the gates, they'll see signage, you know, making them aware of everything that's going on within the facility. Uh, they'll walk inside, there'll be a ticket taker there that will um, look at their ticket or, you know, make sure that, they're, that they have the proper ticket to enter the facility. Once they walk up the stairs, they'll see hand sanitizer stands all around the concourse. Um, once they enter into the bomb to go into their seat, they will see plenty of social distancing signs um, that will allow them to know that we're here to create a safe and fun environment for you guys because I, I personally believe that when everyone enters our athletic facilities, uh, we want to treat them as if they're part of Little Rock's team. So we want to give them that high class, first class experience um, from a customer service standpoint, from making them feel safe, um, to you name it. We just want everyone to feel welcome. 